What's up, Scorpio? All right, it's me, Jose Alfredo Ra, and I am back. This is going to be your weekend message, right? So, what's up, Scorpio? Hope you're feeling great. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, right? If you're not already subscribed, thank you to all my followers, subscribers. Thank you for everyone that comments, likes, and shares. I have a special treat for you all. Today I'm using the Kish Tarot deck from Eat, Tree, Love. Eat, Read, Love. Sorry. Yeah. So brand new deck. Brand new energy. So I'm about to start shuffling it for the first time. All right, Scorpio. So I'm going to provide you with some, some insight for the energies that are around you. Something to look forward to for the weekend. So we're calling upon the energies to provide us with insight, clarity, and guidance for Scorpio. Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, Scorpio Rising, Scorpio, any placement for Scorpio, North Node. Let's provide the messages for Scorpio. All right, let me just get this shuffled. Scorpio. Hear the sounds of my wind chime. Yes, the energies are with us, Scorpio. Okay. Don't forget to hit that bell notification at the bottom. So you know when I release all new uploads for you, Scorpio. All right. One, two books. All right. Let's get it started. Show me what we have here for Scorpio. Show me the message. What is the first card message that we would like to show Scorpio? First card out, strongest energy. Queen of Swords. Look at that, Scorpio. Queen of Swords. This is you. Cutting yourself free, right? From anything that is holding you back. From communicating, right? You have clarity, right? You know how to communicate and be direct, right? But not be rude or too aggressive. Confident, right? In your position, right? Though she's sitting, right? She has her sword upright. She is also confident enough to extend her hand out to give anybody the opportunity to communicate what they need to communicate before she makes the, her decision, right? This is you, Scorpio. In the energy of the Queen of Swords. I love it. All right. So, what is going on with this Queen of Swords? Who is this Queen of Swords holding her hand out to? Who is she extending her hand out to? Ooh. All right. Scorpio. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So, are you quite possibly waiting for an Earth sign, right? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or somebody with this King of Pentacles energy who has something to offer you? With the Knight of Pentacles, there's a new offer, right? And it's a, it's a slow-moving offer usually, but it's something that will be solidified and grounded, and it's something that will come into fruition. It's something that will manifest. Because this person has thought, you know, taking the time to ground themselves, right? To make, to make the decision and think through everything carefully before they move forward with this. This is why they take their time with that. And it looks like this is coming from a King of Pentacles, right? So somebody, look at that energy, the King of Pentacles, right? Ultimate Manifester. Again, I always see the, the Earth signs as the ones that are more grounded, definitely create structure for themselves, very practical. They're the ones who really enjoy the, the worldly goods, like the, the, the great things about being in this 3D reality, you know? So this is either you waiting for this opportunity, right, of an offer from this King of Pentacles, Scorpio, right? Or this could possibly be you offering something, right? Extending out your hand to this and offering something to this King of Pentacles, Scorpio. All right. So what is the next message that needs to be communicated to Scorpio, right? Ooh, sorry, almost there. There we go. The Magician. The Magician. All right. 
So we have energies of energy of Mars, right, and Mercury. The magician, right, ultimate manifester, having everything you need right now to manifest everything. So, one of you are trying to manifest a new opportunity, right? And it looks like somebody wants to offer someone something. Now, what could this be? All right, let's get some clarification. All right, clarify this Queen of Swords for me. What do we have the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here in this reading for Scorpio? The Devil, Capricorn Energy. So you may very well be connecting to a Capricorn, Scorpio, right? And this is someone who desires you, right? This is someone that feels a strong connection towards you. You know, the Devil card can be looked in different aspects. It's not always a negative. You know, sometimes they say it's the chains that bind you, the things that are connected to like, to lust and obsession. But sometimes that can be something that's good because it could be something that drives you to actually push yourself to work towards a goal, right? When you get really obsessed and like really desire something. So someone's being desired here heavily with that devil card and this Capricorn. Plus we have a Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords, which is more Earth sign energy. Capricorn made an appearance, Scorpio. So look out for that. And this Knight of Pentacles, what could this offer be with the Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio, right? What is this Knight of Pentacles coming to offer? The sun, a rebirth period, a time of joy, happiness, pleasure, beautiful things manifesting, right? A lot of vitamin D, go out in the sun, spend some time outdoors. That's what I'm hearing, Scorpio, spend some time outdoors, right? In nature, a lot of earth sign energy, get yourself grounded, right? Somebody wants to spend time with you. Right? They want to connect with you the way earth signs connect. Awesome deck, feeling this energy. All right, what is this king of pentacles? What is this king of pentacles? Here, showing up in Scorpio's reading. What would the king of pentacles like to communicate to Scorpio? Hmm. Scorpio. Scorpio. The Hierophant, energy of Taurus. And the moon, energy of cancer, right? The king of pentacles, quite potentially, right? May want a serious connection with you, right? A higher connection with you. They might want to offer you, right? A relationship or a new level in a relationship if you already have an existing connection with this earth sign, energy Scorpio. The Hierophant is someone who sees the value in you, someone who understands um, what it takes to commit themselves to structure, right? And taking those things like vows um, seriously and holding them with true respect. And then we have the energy of the moon. Intuitively, I feel like, and emotionally, this person in their gut feels like you are the one, Scorpio. Right? And we have the moon and cancer energy. Also cancer is that energy, right? About like foundation, the home and the family. This person wants to build their life with you. It's clearly Scorpio, you have a Cap Capricorn energy or a Taurus or another earth sign, but there's an earth sign energy around you, Scorpio, that is desiring to start a higher commitment with you. They also feel like they can learn from you or that they can, or in their connection, you guys will be, or gals will be able to learn from each other. Scorpio, that is deep right there. All right, and let's clarify the next card, which is the magician energy, because they're trying to manifest this. They're clearly trying to manifest this, or this is you, Scorpio, trying to manifest this energy. Clarify the magician. The two of pentacles, there's a balance. There we go, two of pentacles, two hands. Two hands to create the balance, two energies to create a balance. All right? This person is trying to, this person or you, Scorpio, are trying to create a balance in your life and especially in this connection. So that instead of pulling each other apart, you can bring each other closer together. 
Wow, Scorpio, definite strong love reading. You have an earth sign energy around you, Capricorn or Taurus energy that definitely is trying to manifest a new connection with you or trying to manifest a new period in an already existing connection. And they have strong desire and passion for you with the devil card. And the sun card is telling you they want to have a rebirth in this connection. They want to offer you a rebirth. That is what the Knight of Pentacles is coming to offer you. A rebirth period in a connection with you or a brand new connection. They want to bring you joy and happiness, right? And they want a higher commitment for you, Scorpio. King of Pentacles, right? We have the moon and we have the Hierophant, right? So let me put it this way because that's how you see it. Scorpio, this person wants to offer you a commitment intuitively, right? Emotionally, they know that you are the one and they want to create a family life with you, Scorpio. My goodness, if that isn't such an amazing feeling and they are really trying to make this manifest and work on, they're putting all their energy into creating a balance in this union and in their life, Scorpio. Scorpio, I love that. All right, let me get you an angel guide oracle card message for some support. You know, we love these, right? All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, thank you very much. Remember, subscribe, hit that bell notification at the bottom, like this video, and share it so it gets more views, Scorpio. All right, show me the message that supports Scorpio in this reading, too. Listen deeply and self self-acceptance Scorpio so your angels your spirit guides your ancestors however you see the universe the divine right wants to tell you to take some time to listen deeply right to your heart to what you're feeling listen deeply to the messages they're trying to provide you with because they're going to try to provide you with the messages that are needed for you right now which could be support which could be love which could be encouragement and self-acceptance Scorpio it is a time for you to see yourself and see the beauty that you are, right? Your shadow and your life self and to accept yourself. And if you have trouble with that, call on your angels and your guides to help you in that moment and tell them, clearly help me recognize and help me see my light and my dark side and embrace both of them so I have balance in myself, right? Because when you have self-acceptance, you will attract someone who sees the beauty within you and your worth, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, that was your message for this weekend. I'm really happy to hear that there's someone who's out there who really wants to offer you something serious and something meaningful. Scorpio, I will see you all next week. Have a great weekend and take care. Much love. Bye.